Tribal Warrior is a program that runs in the Redfern community that works to re-engage young people with their Aboriginal heritage. Today we're out in the bush in Sydney as the team work to preserve Aboriginal rock carvings and important sites. Good day everyone, uh, we're here with a Tribal Warrior Mentoring Program and we're out in the bush today and uh, I've got Byron here to tell us a little bit what's going on today. This morning we're out with a Tribal Warrior Mentoring Program in Redfern uh, and part of the, the growth that the kids um, learn to experience is to go into the bush, uh, especially with the National Parks and Wildlife uh, crew, to learn about uh, bush rejuvenation and also um, to maintain and preserve the Aboriginal rock art. This is the National Park Manager. Tell us about the program. We've got a uh, partnership program going on with um, Tribal Warrior where we're getting um, Aboriginal youth to come out and help us uh, find the sites that we've got on our maps, find them in the bush, have a look and see if there's any problems with them, work out what it takes to maintain them, record the sites, fix them up a little bit, get them in a condition where we can bring tourists in to have a look at this stuff too. Boys, bring that rake over. Let's get this section here done, eh? Bring hey, some rocks too. And this is Jeff from National Parks. Tell us about engraving, brother. Yeah, so we're on the site here at Bob and Head, uh, part of Angola National Park. Uh, just an engraving spot that we have here, with a few figures, uh, some footprints here, and a few animals. So we just come out to do a bit of work on the site with you guys through our program. So it's uh, one of the sites that we've come out to have a bit of a clean up because it's an open site where we have people come here and have a look at the site and learn about engravings, you know, it's a bit of an educational purpose to come out here and clean these sites up for people to have a look at. Do we know anything about the mob that created this? Yeah, so it's uh, basically up in the Karingai area, which is in the north part of uh, Sydney. Uh, it's in the Karingai National Park, like I said. Um, and it's come from the Karingai descendants, from around this area of the North Shore area. It's not with a K, as the uh, Europeans pronounce it, it's with a G. So, yeah, it's come from the Karingai mob. What's the best part of working in this environment? Oh, it's hard to pinpoint one thing, you know, it's pretty good coming to work here. It's, you know, you guys have probably seen the best of it, where you get to get out and have a look in the park and the other side carries a bit of the paperwork stuff, but, it, you know, it might be the harder side of it, but it means getting groups like yourself involved in the park and uh, getting outside myself and having a look around and, and discovering these sites, you know. These sites have been here for a long time and no one's been able to see them and we can finally record them and know where they are and, and, and look after them how they need to be looked after. Thanks for your time, Jeff. No worries, thanks, brother. But this sort of knowledge is important to all Australians, um, but the best way to teach it to Australians is to teach it to people that have got credibility and connection. Um, we can draw pictures and give some basic history on the map from our side, but that's all academic if it's not coming from uh, the community, you know, the indigenous community. It doesn't have, it just doesn't have the same credibility. And you know, from a tourism point of view, we want to get employment out of this program as well. We want young guys to come up, get that knowledge and present it because everybody overseas, they're hungry for this information. And it, uh, it's good for the self-esteem of the rest of Australia too, to have all this good site stuff well presented. Thank <laughs> you.